Good morning guys. Just out heading over to a guy we're gonna to meet today. He's called Denzel. He runs a little online company called Sunglasses for Sport. So it turns out he doesn't live far from me. So I'm just rolling over there. It's just the start of a little training session today. I'm gonna to go out for three hours. So I'm gonna start by heading over to see him before I get too hot and sweaty. And then I'll do three hours. It's a nice day today. Woo! There's a few cars here. Oh, how you, you doing? Want to bring your bike in? Yeah, yeah. Good to meet you. How you doing? You alright? Here we go. Yeah, I'll definitely bring this bike in, yeah. How you doing? You alright? Hi. Sit around. Hey Ryan. You're gonna be on YouTube. That's all cool. <laughs> okay guys, so I made it over to Sunglasses for Sport. We're sitting um, with Denzel in their HQ, which is only a few miles from my house. And um, we're going to have a bit of a chat with Denzel. So Sunglasses for Sport, you were saying that it's been around for about 10 years and you have your own brand now that you've created, Evolution. So yeah, just, just share, tell everyone a little bit about what you're doing. And Thanks James, yeah, yeah, no we worries. started in 2007, so 2017 is our 10th anniversary. Ah. We started with just a few brands, in yeah. fact uh, when we started all our stock was in one cupboard. <laughs> yeah. um, and now it's grown and now we've got about 20 brands on the website. Yeah. We're predominantly retail but yeah. we also, as you said, have our own brand of sunglasses yeah. called the Evolution. Yeah. And we do sell that out to other stockists and we're selling it worldwide now nice. to a lot of overseas distributors. Yeah. Um, in fact, Evolution has been a great success story. Uh, about a third of our turnover is in our own brand Evolution. Nice. The other two thirds, we've got Oakley, we've got Bolle, we've yeah. got Block, we've got Sunwise, we've got Uvex, we've got Tifosi. Tifosi is the, one of the fastest growing sports eyewear brands in the world, American brand. Not very well known here in the UK, but yeah. watch out because yeah. <laughs> you will hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, fantastic. And, and so, yes, it's here we are in little old. Old Basing, just outside Basing Stoke. Yep, yep. But I think in terms of sports eyewear, we are one of the major players in the UK now. Yeah, that's awesome. So in terms of what different disciplines, what sports do you cater for? I know it's golf, and, and but just run us through everything. It's, it's pretty much everything. So whether you uh, need eyewear for tennis, or golf, or fishing, or shooting, or mm. running, or cycling, uh, or you know the triathlon events. Yeah. Uh, mountaineering, we will have eyewear for your sport. Cool, cool. So I think one of the questions that I want to ask you, because I think some some of the viewers may be interested to ask this question, what would be the advantage from sort of buying from yourself over a, a shop? I'm, I'm guessing there is some extra yep. value that yep. you can provide. Yep, I mean, if you go into um, a, a cycle shop or if you go into Halfords or somewhere like that, if you're lucky, you're going to see one brand, yeah. maybe two brands. Um, also, you might find the rack is half empty and the eyewear is covered in dust. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been cleaned for a while. You go onto our website and you can choose from 20 brands. Everything's in stock and everything is pristine. Yeah. And the good thing about sports eyewear, it tends to be unisex. It will fit men and women because they're closer fitting. Um, uh, because they hug your face. Um, they tend to fit both good. men and women, um, they don't tend to fall off, it's not like a normal pair of specs or, or fashion sunglasses. Um, so uh, it's very rare actually we get them back. Yeah. Um, out of a hundred that we send out we would get less than five back yeah. and that's because they're not fitting the face. Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's and you cater for kind of all, you know, you've got sort of budget sunglasses for people that don't want to spend so much and then you've got the high, much higher end sort of Oakleys and things so you kind of so. cater for very everyone. Very much so. We, yeah. You can buy uh, sports eyewear on our site for less than ten pounds. Oh, yeah. Or if you want to, you can spend 250 Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, where where is the best place for people? I mean, obviously, you're an online business, so it's going to be your website. So just share all the website and social media details with us. Yeah, um, the main place to go to is sunglassesforsport.com. Okay, cool. Um, Brilliant. That will, that will take you off to our social media sites. Okay. But that's the starting point. Brilliant. Sunglasses for Sport. 
There you go guys, sunglassesforsport.com. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description and uh, yeah, check it out. That's a super good guy. I didn't really know, I've been here for quite some time and I only literally live around the corner. So it's always good to try and support local businesses. I think so anyway. Right, I've just had a quick cup of tea. I'm now gonna get out and train for three hours. Oh, I've got my new sunglasses on, which Enzo very kindly gave me. They're pretty cool, I like them. What a nice guy he was. about an hour into the ride it's taking it pretty easy it's the first sort of ride out <clears throat> I haven't been so well actually over the last few weeks I had a, in fact this time two weeks ago <coughs> I had a terrible ride and then I picked up sort of a bit of tonsillitis and just wasn't really feeling so good but feeling good today it's good to be back out spinning the legs car coming here I like these country lanes, they're pretty safe. There's not many people around here, so it's all good. Woo! <laughs> Two and a half hours in, about just over half an hour left. I'm a little bit slow today for some reason. <coughs> but it's good to be out. It's quite windy, but it's no problem. Nice and the spring, yeah, I think is finally here, which is good. It's good to get out. <sighs> I've got half an hour to go and I was pretty hungry. So I stopped, just grabbed something to eat. I don't usually do that, I usually just ride on home. But I'm just cruising back, so picked up a little chocolate chip cookie and a boost bar and a Powerade. <laughs> That is it. My house is literally a couple of meters, a couple of meters, a couple of hundred meters from the park here. I'm gonna roll on back, and that is my day on the bike done. And I'm gonna crack on with some other stuff. 